a regular guest on the Mela Food feature, Yudhika Sujanani has helped to add a culinary dimension to our shared Indian experience. And I'm sure many of you have already enjoyed her delicious menus. Over the years, we've come to know Yudhika as a food guru, but her entrepreneurial side has escaped the spotlight. Considering that she's managed to get more than one successful business off the ground while raising three children, almost single-handedly, there's clearly a lot more to her story. Karusha was keen to find out more about Yudhika's recipe for happiness and self-mastery. Yudhika's name is derived from the Sanskrit and can be translated as goddess who bestows victory. This is undoubtedly auspicious, but it hasn't in any way guaranteed her an easy path in life. Childhood poverty made her resourceful and determined to create her own opportunities, and she remains self-sufficient and incredibly hard-working. She also has a perfectionist streak, but she never demands more from others than she is able to deliver herself. Celebrity chef, author, foodpreneur and mom Yudhika Sajanani is no stranger to us here at Mela which is why I'm so excited to be spending time with her today and get a behind the scenes look of exactly what goes into her day, meet her family and I know today is very crazy for her so I'm hoping to get a few minutes in before the chaos starts. Hello! Yudhika! Welcome! Thank you so much for having me. It's a crazy day. The weekends generally are. But come along, I'll show you around. Great, thank you. So this is the Delhi part of the business. This is a very cool space. When did you move here? 2012 was when we started. It took us 14 months to renovate the property. And it started out as my iconic office space where I could do food photography and it grew into a cooking school and then it became a deli and it's an accidental cake shop now. And that cabinet looks delicious. What we've done here is just gone back to old fashioned baking and we've moved away from the whole box cake revolution. Being an entrepreneur you have to be very hands on, I can imagine even more so with food. The secret to this business and the success is I'm very, very hands on. My kids are here as well, they help out as much as they can and while I'm here I'm just thinking about all the orders I need to get out, so follow me. I've been working on a cake already this morning. I started really early and it's for a friend of mine. She's ordered a birthday cake. Wow, this cake looks spectacular. Cakes are really magical creations. There's so much love and thought that goes into them. It's something that represents all the love and care we put into this business. And I can see that you use this space for your cooking school as well. Why is it so important for you to teach? It's really important to teach because it's not just about the recipes. I feel that we have so much love and care and affection that we show through food. So when we do a class, it's not only about leaving knowing how to make a mutton curry, but it's about learning about the culture. And also, sometimes we forget how special food really is. It's what nurtures us. It's what makes us feel so alive, so at home so much comfort as well. Well, your cakes are definitely the highlight of your inserts for Mia and Mela, and seeing one in person is such a privilege. When I started shooting Mela and doing the food, I've always been a bit nervous because these cakes were quite high, and with the team at the moment, I've been feeling so much more confident, and it's been amazing, the response has been amazing. Well, I know that your day is only going to get busier. It surely so is. So I am going to leave you, and we will catch up tomorrow for a proper chat. Absolutely, see you soon. Tanvi, how are you? I'm good, thanks. And you? Good, thanks. I can see you helping your mom. Yes, it's really fun and exciting. I get the opportunity to meet new people. It's also taught me a lot about the food industry, what it's like to run a business, and how much hard work goes into it. And is this something that you maybe want to continue doing? I have about one year left of high school, so we'll see how it goes after that. I wish you all the best. Thank you. It's always such a privilege to get an insight into the life of someone as busy as Yurika. But because it's so crazy today, I'm going to come back at a better time tomorrow and find out more. They smell amazing. I'm back with Yurika and I've been invited into her beautiful home. It's a lot more restful today, so I'm looking forward to getting to know her more. 
Yudhika, I'm so excited. This is exactly what I thought your home would smell like. These look amazing. It's not always about being able to produce something, it's making sure it's perfect all the time. And this is my homework for today. We're constantly developing and creating new flavors and coming up with new ideas. And where did your love of food come from? For me, it all began at the kitchen table where I do my homework. I'd sit with my grandmother and I was so in love with her. She was my first true love. And just to be in her company, I'd find a hundred ways to help her. Whether it was shelling peas or fetching what she needed, I was always there with her. And I realized those aromas and the flavors, I experience all of that when I'm in the kitchen. So even now, I feel like she's still very much a part of my life. And I know that you started working from a very young age. I got my first job in a hotel kitchen when I was 14. So I'd go to school and after school, I'd work in this hotel. It was a very grown up world. But I learned the value of money and what it felt like to actually earn a bit and it was empowering. Karusha, these pies have baked off beautifully. I've done my homework, let's have some tea. Oh, isn't this pretty? I know, you can't have a chat without tea. We're very old-fashioned like that. <laughs> exactly. Yudika, what or whom have been the biggest influences in your life so far? My greatest influence I think comes from my children. I've learned a lot from them. We tend to overcomplicate life or deal with our issues or our challenges in quite a complicated way. But when I look at them, life is simple and their thinking is so pure. So I've learned from my children who influence me. And what is your advice to creatives, entrepreneurs, working moms out there that want to see themselves where you are? Before you strike gold, most people feel tempted to throw in the towel. As entrepreneurs, we have this amazing ability to create employment, and you watch these lives change. You watch families benefit, you watch them flourish, actually. And that, for me, is a true joy. Yudhika, thank you so much for spending time with me today. I obviously know you from Mela, and all of us know you from our TV screens, but it's been such a privilege to get a small insight into your life. It's an absolute pleasure, Karisha. Please have some tea, and we've just baked up some biscuits, and I know you're gonna like them. Thank you. Good. Mmm, that's just so good. I'm glad you like them.